my soul love Jesus my soul hey yes Lord love Jesus I'm trying to find worshipers and folk who come through that old womb of holiness where you had to travail in his presence and say my soul ay 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 love Jesus come on bless his name keep it connected come on my soul love Talk to him just for a moment, all right? Come on, let's pray. Father Lerosha, in the name of Jesus, we indeed thank you, glorifying you now. Hallelujah. Wonderful Savior, none like you, none like you, none like you, none like you. Oh, Lord. Oh, what a wonderful Savior mm. to be called, hallelujah, to be called saved and sanctified. What a privilege, what an honor, hallelujah, hallelujah. What a privilege to be called the chosen, what an honor, hallelujah, to be called sanctified. Thank you for salvation. Thank you for Calvary. Thank you for the blood of Jesus. Thank you for the power of the cross. Thank you for the blessed Savior. What a mighty drum of redemption. Thank you, Lord. How you blessed us another day. Thank you for beating back the powers of adversity. Thank you for destroying every yoke. Sin and Satan, turning back the cohorts of evil, loosing the captive and letting the oppressed go free, shaking the chains and pulling apart the fetters, uprooting and snatching down, moving and exalting. Our God is a great God. Our God is a mighty God. We thank you. We glorify you. We we lift you, we exalt you, we esteem you as the only high God. Thank you for one more day. Thank you for making the way out of no way. Thank you. Thank you for being who you are. A wonderful Savior. Yeah, 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. My soul said yes, yes to your will, yes to your way, yes. Come on, throw your hands up and tell him thank you. Thank you, Lord. Save in this place. Deliver in this place. Let the captive go free. Loose the heavy burden. Loose the yoke of oppression. Set the prisoner free. Tonight, Lord. Somebody say yes, Lord. Tonight, Lord. Tonight, Lord. Deliver the backslider. Tonight, Lord. Save the unsaved. Tonight, Lord. Somebody say yes.
Listen, that's another song that we had a lot of people saying you cut it short on the first album. But we just got this, you know, doing a reprise. Look at somebody and tell them, tell them that we look, we're just doing a reprise. <laughs> From the sanctified church I'm from, we 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 sing that old song. Turn around, look at your neighbor, and tell your neighbor, God don't need no matches. He's fire. He's fire. All by himself. See, some of y'all say y'all can't dance until you feel something. But somebody said, when I think of the goodness of Jesus.
clap your hand and say yeah. yeah. I don't know about you. I like to dance. You, you need to forget about this as a recording session. Maybe you need a good shout in here. Turn around, look at somebody, tell them you need to forget about this as a recording session. Look at him again and say, you need to praise him. The Bible said, let everything that happens has the final say. Reverend Thomas, quote from the Herald newspaper, 2021, religion section. This four-week series uses the story of six people in the Bible to remind us that waiting on God is hard, but we can do it because he is trustworthy and he will always show up at the perfect time. In the meantime, we can remain active in our waiting. Please, now take a moment with me and let's bow your heads for a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we bow now in total submission to your will and to who you are, the sovereign God. We thank you now for your mighty throne of grace, which we can attain mercy and worship you, Abba, in spirit and in truth. Lord, we thank you, the Blessed Father, for always answering to our every call. Give us the patience to wait on you, Almighty God, for your timing. God, it may not be always what we want or what we expect, but Father, we thank you for your benefiting power of the Holy Spirit, which rule and directs us and gives us wisdom from above. We thank you now for your perfect timing because ha, ah, we can trust in you that everything will be all right. Father God, according to your word in Habakkuk 2 and 3, you said in your word for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will always surely come. It will not tarry. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Today's sermon lesson, we look at Luke, the 8th chapter, the 40th through the 56th verse. Moreover, today's text will show us how waiting on God. Timing would always lead us to success. Waiting on God's timing will never be our timing. Trust God would always lend us to the process of what God has for us. God will always set the right timing for everything concerning thee. Today in this lesson, we will talk about two people who had to wait on God and God had to meet their deepest needs. Being a blessed believer, we can truly trust God, our Lord and Savior, for all our needs. But we must wait on God according to God's timeline. The first person we shall mention is Jairus. In this text today, he was a ruler of the synagogue. He pleaded with Jesus to come to heal his 12-year-old daughter, who is on her deathbed. Jesus agrees to go, but then 
slowed down, but the crowd that pushes in against him. A Sunagon ruler is an official appointed by the elders to look at the building, its context, its arrangements for worship. Most fathers would probably not leave their dying daughter bedside unless desperation compelled them to go find help. Jairus waited for Jesus for an unknown length of time. The Sonagon ruler is an official that was appointed. God knew what the appointment was. But old Jairus had to pay attention to God's will and God's sovereign will. He had to wait on God's perfect timing. Ah, but that's not the end. That is a spoiler alert. The second person in the context of this text we will be talking about is someone who had to wait a long time because she was hemorrhaging and she was waiting on God for a miracle. According to Mark's account of the story, she had to sought after medical help because of her hemorrhaging. She spent unknown amounts of money, and it seemed like her situation was getting worse and worse and worse. This woman spent 12 long years of pain, illness, dashes of hope, feelings of worthless and possible isolation and waiting. The unknown woman sneaks into a crowd of a culture known that would prevent her, but she said, I had to come. I had to come through my bleeding. I had to come through my circumstances. I must, through my desperation, touch the hem of Jesus Christ garment. Ah, this woman touched Jesus Christ garment. Jesus said, ah, ah, what is this? Ah, somebody touched me in all power. Ah, seemed like it left me, paraphrasing. In the context of this text, we find that this woman was broken, but she had to push through her circumstance. She had to push through the crowd because, ah, she was waiting on God. She said, God, no matter what you do, I must wait because I know that you are the divine healer. Verses 47. Jesus is given the opportunity to establish her and replenish her in the eye of the overseer as well. He calls her daughter, commenting on her faith, and directs her to go in peace. Verse 48. Both were also similar in several ways. They had to wait for the healing. They were in very dissolute of a situation. They were both people of faith. They had to prioritize their products to God and understand that God, ah, sometimes have you to wait. But they was willing to interrupt Jesus Christ's day. They were driven by hope. They was driven by the love. They was driven because they wanted a healing, ah, for that circumstance that they was dealing with. The impossibilities of what they was going through. There's nothing like the church of Jesus Christ. There's nothing like the sovereign God when he touched you in the midst of your waiting. Touch you in the midst of when you seem like you can't get through. Touch you at the moment when you say, ah, God, I've been waiting on you. I've been waiting on you a long time. But ah, when God touches you at that waiting moment, ah, you can feel God's power. You can feel his anointing ah, in the midst of you waiting on God. Have you ever had to wait on God? Have you ever been in a circumstance where it seemed like you was waiting on God? It seemed like when you was waiting on God, every dandable issue, every dandable thing, your faith was tested. Your personal life was tested. Everything you was going through seemed like sometimes your finances was touched. Your cultural beliefs were touched. But ah, when you wait on God, he said, I will keep you in perfect peace. Whoever mind is stayed on me. Sometimes it seems like it's hard when you're waiting on God. But through every tough situation, through every tough ah, calamity that you go through, God is yet there. But waiting on God. God don't want you to be passive. When you wait on God, you can have hope 
and know that God is a delivering factor. My brothers and sisters, I want to leave you with four things that will help you. When you wait on God, we must wait on God in a healthy aspect. We must lend to education. We must lend to experiences of God and his sovereign power. We must exercise our faith and understand that God is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. In the complexities of us waiting, we must now faint. We must understand that God is who he says. He is the sovereign God ah, that can come and touch you. He may not be according to what you say he is, but he's never late. He's always right on time. At the time that you want to give up, at the time you say, God, I can't take no more. I must wait ah, on your ever reverent presence. I must wait on your anointing because you are a rewarder of those that digitally seek you. In life, you're going to have some limited possibilities. In life, you're going to have some moments where you got to wait on God. Wait on God. Don't get tired. When you wait on God, don't get dismayed because God is who he say he is. When you wait on God, ha, tears may fall down your eyes and sometimes your back is going to be pressed against the wall and circumstances are going to come and you're going to say, Good God Almighty, ah, this is too much. I can't take no more. But ah, in the morning, after a while, the song says, ah, God will come and see about you. He will be your ever-present help in your time of need. My brothers and sisters, life is hard and life is tough. Sometimes you're waiting on God. But today, ah, you don't have to wait on salvation. He's here. He's here to give you the presence of his salvation, eternal life. Please now at this very special moment, please bow your heads for a word of salvation. Please repeat this prayer after me. Father, I know I have broken your laws and my sins have separated me from you. I am truly sorry. And now I want to turn from my past of my sinful ways. Please, God, forgive me and help me avoiding sin again. I believe in your blessed Son and that he hears my prayers. I invite you to come into my heart as my personal Lord and Savior. Please, God, come, reign, and rule, and sit with me in my heart. From this day forward, Father, I accept you and acknowledge you as my personal Lord and Savior. Father, I be careful not to mention the Holy Spirit. I ask you now to have the Holy Spirit to help me to obey and to do your will for the rest of my life. I believe in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. If you have prayed this prayer of sincere faith, May this prayer today set a reminder that you have come to Jesus in faith and that you are trusting in him today as your personal Lord and Savior. God has perfect timing, never early, never late. It takes a little patience and it's a lot of faith, but it's worth it. Waiting on God. God bless you. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. No weapon formed against me shall prosper.